Hello guys, it's Simon from Simon's Discoveries. Today I wanted to test these two knives. Uh, Mora uh, Stainless Companion Black. Not to be confused with Mora Bushcraft Black. And uh, Hulter Force. Huh. Its name is on the sheath. Is the Craftsman's Knife. Uh, also stainless. So this one, Mora, they're both stainless and this one actually I feel like it's really soft and rubbish and because this piece of wood, this is blackthorn, is very knotty and has really twisted grain by definition, it's really hard to test on these blades. And I just want to see if this what happened to this knife, which was basically uh, the blade didn't even roll. I don't know what to call it. It basically just bent. Piece of the blade of the cutting cutting edge bent. And I want to see if I can if this was just uh, you know really bad luck, or is it something that happens cons consistently? This one is a different knife, this one is uh, Hulta Force, uh, very similar price-wise. Same that we did last time. Uh, same company, although that one was high carbon steel and it was much thicker. So this is, th these are the same class knives, so they're thin and stainless steel, so by definition a little weaker, just because they're thinner as well. This one is a little shorter than this, but it doesn't really matter that much, especially for this test. Yeah, it's really tough, really hard piece of wood. You probably don't come across pieces of wood that hard very often. But then again, you can't be picky with your knives. They have to, with wood, you have to take what you have yeah. sometimes. And, uh, Surprise, surprise, it's obviously not not getting damaged when I want it to. <laughs> but I mean, maybe it was just because it was factory edge and uh, it wasn't convexed. I have convexed it since a little bit, so it may just be that this few micrometers or whatever helped. Okay, so let's test the edges. This is the most difficult te cut test that you can imagine on this piece of paper, because this is across the grain. This is along the grain, so it's a lot easier. But if it, it can cut like this, that's all you need. So this super hard piece of wood, did nothing to it. It's only been a few minutes, so... But still, it's quite impressive. Let's see this one. A 
harder. Yeah, I think there is some little nick in the in the blade here somewhere. I'll take a fresh piece of paper because sometimes they just get a little folded up and it's not the same. No, it does seem a bit... Still almost does it, but... Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with it already. Yeah. I mean, it's still sharp, but it definitely has some duller bits here and there. As you can see, it cuts paper no problem. And w along the grain it should be fine. Yeah. But the more difficult test already proves that this is, uh, this is a better steel, in my opinion. That's from my experience. I wasn't able to roll this edge this time. So I kind of failed because I was trying to prove something here. So it's not as bad as I was trying to show. But still. Let me give it a few more. And that's what they do. Alright, so I kicked its ass pretty bad now. If it's still perfect, then I, I already think this is the best stainless steel I've ever used. But if after all this it still cuts across the grain, it almost does. Yeah, there's just something at the belly. Yeah, it there is some sort of some signs of dulling, but it still does the, you know, the most difficult test. Passes, I mean, tears it up by the end, but it's still amazing. I mean, it may be me being partial, but I still think that's the the best stainless steel I've ever used. That's your comparison. So I guess I have proven something. Alright guys, so as you could see, I wasn't able to prove what I was trying to prove completely because I was trying to show you how the edge bends because it's really difficult to explain other than by showing. So I guess in that department I kind of failed. But still, I was able to show you that uh, with roughly the same amount of strokes the Hulte Force edge held up a lot better than the Mora's edge and it hasn't been even that long. It only took a few minutes to see the difference clearly. So I know some people say that uh, you won't feel, you won't see a difference. You'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between Mora stainless and Mora, uh, even Mora high carbon or Hulta Force. I don't think that's true. It, from my experience, the stainless Mora is nothing like the high carbon Mora and uh, Hulta Force stainless steel i still don't know what it is yet i asked i have asked them the question on facebook again uh, and i will tell you as soon as i find out but in my opinion the hulta for stainless steel is the best stainless steel i have used so far i haven't used that many because i'm not a big fan of stainless steel but out of the ones that i have used this is definitely the best it holds edge the best and uh, 
just performs amazingly. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please make sure to click like, share and subscribe if you want to see more of those videos in the future. Uh, comment in the comment section below. And you may also visit my blog, which is simonsdiscoveries.com. And thanks again. See you in another video.